Hey guys. Hey guys. Who needs a metal shop? <laughs> All I need is three days. Hi everyone, I uh, have good news. Mitz was able to contact their Home Depot rental place this morning, early this morning, and luckily we were able to extend the rental of the main lift. So we're gonna have the main lift for four more weeks, which I think we will need four more weeks. So that's the good news. Uh, we also have really good weather these days, uh, and I think we're gonna try to take advantage of that. And instead of just working on the roof, I think we're gonna to try to take care of a couple of other things that need to happen before the building is ready anyways. The first is to create a trench where the conduit will go from the main box to the building. I think we're gonna be renting a trencher to do that instead of doing it with the excavator so that we only dig a smaller hole. The second thing is to kind of grind the concrete runways to make them as flat and level as possible before we put the track on top. Uh, so those are two things that are coming up in the next week or so. Mitch has already left, he's already at the lot, uh, probably working on the roof, but uh, those two other goals are now becoming priorities because we kind of need good weather, especially for the trencher and the conduit for the electric. Hey guys, hey guys, we're up here on the roof. Um, Finishing up this morning, yesterday, it went pretty well. Everything is actually pretty easy. It's nice how it works out. We messed up um, these spacings here between the purlins. I knew they had different spacings, but I thought we only had two sizes of insulation, a 30 inch and a 27 inch. So we grabbed just the 27, we knew which bay was smaller and the rest we thought were 30. So we rolled them all in. Um, and then I went over to uncover more insulation since it was all tarped up. We didn't want to uncover it and look at all of it, but we were moving fast. So I went to uncover more and realized there was a third size. Um, we actually accidentally succeeded in getting most of them correct just because the third size has the majority of the pieces. The first panel I drilled, it was incorrect because I, I was trying to go off the plans and I thought it was center to center on the plan and it was into center. So I was about three inches off on my first measurement. So, but I had a good feeling I was off, but we were just trying to move fast and this lift was up here and Dave was up here working. So I was just trying to get it done, but I only drilled one, so it was okay. And then we got two on each side last night before it got dark. We have the ridge cap that goes over that we got up here to line up and make sure. It's actually kind of nice because it's only a three foot section. Sometimes you get caps and 10, 20 foot sections. They're hard to move, hard to align, uh, just hard to deal with. So, I mean, I really don't know. I, I haven't done this very much, but, or ever, but just dealing with long sections of tin is not fun. So it's nice they're in three foot sections but I'm just gonna get this insulation laid over again, the second layer. So this is what's under this steel. It's a six foot wide piece, um, an R19 over the R30s. And then the steel will go over that. So I'm gonna start with that piece that was left over and then I have another bag and the lift that I have to lift up here and on. Just got to the log. My husband is on the freaking top of the roof. And you can see here, through the woods, there's roof. It seems to have put maybe another two on that side. I'm not sure. Let's go ask him. How's it going, honey? Hello. What you doing? How's it going? Good. Yeah. Mm. Are you putting the middle things too, or no? Yeah. One at a time? No. Does it look like I'm going to be doing more than one at a time? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just asking. I can help you put more now that I'm here. Yeah, this is honestly easier than what we were trying to do yesterday, looking at like sideways up. It's not that bad. If I would have got here before, too, because I wouldn't have left my batteries at home, maybe. <laughs> but, given me it's been pretty nice. 
I've been going easy, it's nice, it's going pretty fast. Are you going to have to like unscrew the tops to put those on or no? No. I don't have oh, to put cool. probably a couple sticky things. Like a strip of sticky tape, a strip of foam, and then a strip of sticky tape. Between each piece? Yeah, on the whole bottom. And then where they overlap, there's a string of the sticky tape. It's not so bad, I just, I gotta figure out the roof, the top piece now. Hey guys, I just got to the lot. It has been kind of a slow day today. Mitch woke up and wasn't feeling great and he ended up taking a nap with Hazel on the couch. And we woke up and we were looking into some weightlifting equipment, not really rushing. I ended up driving to Denver uh, to pick up. So he yesterday rented the concrete grinder, but they didn't give him the bottom thing. And I had to drive and get that. And today on my way back, somebody called me and said, I have a delivery for you. And it's actually the track for the Polvo runway. And he's here. This is definitely an exciting delivery. The Mondo track has arrived. Wait, what is this? Oh yeah, this is the track. fast huh yeah I didn't think it would be I mean it was either going to grind or not grind you know yeah like I thought it either just would rip up the paper or it just would do nothing to the concrete it's yeah. nice it's working out perfect yeah. not bad at all. I hope it works as good on this as it did the one over there and then we'll be golden yeah What? It has left-handed threads. What's left-handed threads? On is, you spin it off to go on. Left to go on. Oh. Did the other one we ruin it? Um, it's a little dull and Either I can use one that's like 650 a piece and like go over it for an hour and a half. Oh yeah. Or just put a new one on and go on with my day. It's an exciting moment for this building. As Mitch is putting up the rings that we received yesterday and I'm gonna actually do a ring plyo workout today. Terrible. 
well I am not ready to be hanging <laughs> for so long and that was only sad one uh, meanwhile Mitch is working on bending the piece that will go over the big door that it is um that will run out over over here uh, the engineer wrote us a letter that it's okay to make it bigger but we needed one of those pieces like the windows do so we, he found the piece of metal the right um, size and everything but it wasn't bent and the company couldn't bend it so he has created his own invention for bending it and the one side has worked pretty good he's doing the second side oh it's working pretty good really adjust the distance of those woods a little bit but in general it's working really good almost there his last try of bending it a little more we're we're at 90 on one side but not quite 90 on the other but close enough that we think that once we put it and screw it on the building we can kind of push the other side and screw the other side too you did it honey who needs a metal shop <laughs> all i need is three days yeah. <laughs> I, Perfect. I got it. They do this, but they only had a four foot break, and this is a five foot piece. Ah. Uh. So, and then I asked them where they should just they called, and they told me a place, and I called, but they just didn't answer. And I called like two or three times, and they oh, really? just didn't answer. So I just decided it wouldn't be that hard, and I didn't have time to like drive around Denver and call a bunch of people because they probably couldn't do it like that day anyway. Yeah. Hey, stop, 